So this is a lesson for all the fashion people out there, uh, particularly those in New York, Paris, Paris, ooh la la, right? Um, London, Los Angeles, right? This is how you dress when it's negative five with the wind chill and four degrees without the wind chill. So check it out. Let's start from my base layer. So I have two quarter zips on. This is my red Patagonia quarter zip, which I inherited from my grandpa. Um, this is my blue quarter zip, which I got at REI, I believe, in Seattle. In Was that in Seattle in 2014? Or no, 2013? Or did I, did I get it from REI up here? I don't remember. Um, I have my... This is technically a snowboarding park. You guys remember when Peter Glenn was open? This came from Peter Glenn. And then my rough, I just replaced my rough in 2021. Um, I had a, I used to have a sheared beaver, red fox, and wolf rough. Now I have a wolverine wolf rough because the other one was falling apart. I've got sheepskin cuffs and all of that's from the Alaska Fur Exchange and the Alaska Fur Gallery sewed it on. And then I have my moose hide and beaver mitts. Check it. Right? Moose hide with Athabascan beadwork and beaver trim. I bought those at the fur, at Alaska Fur Exchange. And I believe the beadwork is from Holy Cross, Alaska, which is a Deheg Hitan um, and Holikachuk Athabascan village in rural Alaska. And then I have my reflective vest on because it gets dark at about... Nah, 3 p.m., 3.30 ish, 3.45 ish in the winter time. And you got to be visible when you're out there. You know, even if you're just in your neighborhood, whatever, got to be visible, right? Because drivers in Anchorage suck, right? So, and then obviously when, you ha when you're out and about, you want to keep your hood up, right? Like this. Right, this and this rough is made out of Wolverine and Wolf. It is more of an Athabascan style rough. Like different regions have their different styles. Um, I have one Southwest Alaska Yupik style rough, and I have one. Actually, I have several Northern Alaskan and Nupiak style roughs. Um, but this is just your basic interior Alaska style Wolverine Wolf rough. That you'll see in places like Nulato, Huslia, places of that nature, uh, Arctic Village, right? Venatai, right? And you gotta zip it up. This is what you'll see dog mushers with, right? Um, yeah, I look like, I mean, that's, I kind of look like the Idata Rod race director <laughs> or the Grand Marshal of Ferrandi. Or Lord Trapper. Well, not Lord Trapper. He'd be more bougie. Lord Trapper. But I could be Lord Trapper. How about you tell the Rondi board to make me Lord Trapper? How about that? I mean, I've been in Alaska almost 30 years. So. Right? You know. Make me, make me Lord Trapper. Right? Come on now. And my family's been in Alaska since 1960. Right? Perfect time to make me Lord Trapper. But this is what we wear in the wintertime. And sometimes this hood's kind of stubborn and it, it falls down when I'm walking. Right? But it's important. See, and it's only, and you know it's cold when I have both my parky and my, my beaver hat. Because with, usually with this parky, right? Usually with this parky, I rock... Let me show you. I usually rock my Seahawks. Oh, my Seahawks snap back. There we are. I usually wear this hat with this parky, my Seahawks snap back. But when it gets below 10 degrees, I wear my beaver hat. Right? And this parky is just an out on the town, you know, daily wear parky. Like I have fancy parkies and i'm getting a couple new fancy ones this year um yeah so um and you'll probably if i do a video on sunday 
you will probably see me wearing a fancier parky because Sunday's a special occasion. Um, but yeah, this is this is what we this is how we dress in Alaska. So yeah, like I said, if it's if it's above if it's above ten degrees, then I usually won't have the the beaver hat on. I'll usually I'll usually have my Seahawks hat, Seattle Seahawks hat on. Can't even get this thing done. That's okay. But yeah, this is what it looks like with the hood down, right? Just chilling like a villain. And when you got to go outside, when you got to go outside, it's when you put the hood up because it's hella cold. This is kind of what it looks like, right? You could say in the wintertime, I am the best dressed. I'm usually the best dressed unless there's unless it's someone's uncle from like Point Hope or Point Lay or something, right? And they go all out with the fancy parky, whatever. But usually I'm best dressed, so... Rondi better make me Lord Trapper at least once. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should be Lord Trapper? Y'all better write to Rondi. Say Arturo for Lord Trapper. <laughs> That'd be the first youth... You know, my former coach, Steve Nerland, my former middle school basketball coach, Steve Nerland, well, he's technically a YMCA coach, but... He was Lord Trapper, so why can't I be? If Steve Nerland can be Lord Trapper, why can't I be Lord Trapper? Right? Right? Come on now. Nominate me for Lord Trapper. Come on now. You know, I'd probably be the most attractive Lord Trapper. Uh, you know, there you go.